Good day, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren, and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In this video, I'm going to show you my method of backing up the micro SD card in the Anon G2. Some equipments that you may have already utilizes these micro SD cards. Uh, an example is this uh, hotspot that I have here. Uh, so I'm using my mobile station here at the shack to uh, get on uh, America Link, for example. My amplifier that I have here, the RF2KS, has a micro SD card in there with the uh, Raspberry Pi. So when it boots up, that's how I remote control my amplifier. And now, let's move this. The Anon G2, my new SDR radio, has also a micro SD card. Remember my unboxing video, how I opened it up? Well, I'm gonna do it the same method. I have a, a Torque, which is a, a T8. So I'm gonna remove the top cover only. When you open your case, there's a connector right here that's for the fan. We're not going to remove it. We have easy access to the micro SD card here. I'm just going to pull it out and uh, we're going to use my Windows computer and a program called Belena Etcher and we're going to clone that micro SD card. So this is a SanDisk 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So here's my card reader. I'm going to put the micro SD card in it and plug it into my computer. And if you look now, it identified it as boot E. So let's go to my desktop. Peace. Welcome to my desktop. So the program that I like to use is called Balena Etcher. E A L E N A space E T C H E R. Balena Etcher and go to the download and you'll see it right there. Just click on that. And you don't need to sign up for anything. And just go to download the etcher and then select your operating system. For me, I'm running Windows, and this is what I've downloaded. So if I've already downloaded it, let's go into my download section, and it's right here. And uh, let's run it as the administrator. Click on yes. And then you got to click on these agreements, like here's the agreement. Okay, so this is what you see. So I have it connected. The USB um, card reader. It's connected to my computer. So I'm going to clone and we're going to take it to 32 gigabyte, right? It's member E, E is the location of that drive. We'll double check it with File Explorer. I'll bring it to the screen. It's right here, E, and it's all this here, okay? So that's uh, drive E as an echo. So this is the source, echo, I'm gonna, highlight that as a source drive and we're going to select it and then we're going to select a target. 
So I'm thinking, do I have to get another reader and connect this uh, micro SD card to the computer? Hold that thought. Let me give it a try. I have another card reader. So I have another card reader. It's right here. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. It's a USB-C, so that's good. I can connect it to the computer because I'm using a USB-A connection for my other card reader. So let's plug that in. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's see if it's gonna recognize it. It might be drive F. There it is. It's now drive F. I labeled it. I labeled it as a non G2. So that looks good there. And we need to select a target. So that's my source drive. Here's F. So we're going to select this one. F as in Fox Trot. Select that. So it's taking it from drive E and then saving it to drive F. Let's flash it. And it says here, do you want to allow the app to make changes to your device? Select yes. Flashing in progress. Crossing my fingers that I don't corrupt or mess up my program for the um, a non G2. If not, then I'm out of the water. I'm going to have to get it serviced. So, estimate time of completion looking at around six minutes. While that's running, um, when I was making this video, I wanted to use the utility software that's within inside the operating system of the Anon. I think it uses uh, Unix. Um, but uh, I, I was afraid to do it because I didn't understand the operating system. So I decided to do it this method because uh, I think it's a lot easier. And uh, if this works, great. I'm not going to show the other method. There is a utility within inside the um, the operating system that the Raspberry Pi uses. Let's clone this. And what I'm going to do is I will take the clone micro SD card and put it in the Anon. And if that works, let's use that clone as my operating system and then save the, uh, the original micro SD card and uh, tape it on the inside of the case so I can uh, use it for future in the event if it get, ever gets corrupted. I have a backup. It's uh, validating now, so it's almost completed. 10 more seconds remaining. Okay, Flash was successful, and uh, that's it. Let's uh, X out of here and bring up my File Explorer. So there's E is my boot. I'm going to eject it. So it's safe to remove that. So this is the the E. And I'm going to, I didn't see Foxtrot. So I'm going to put, I, I just pulled it out of the car reader. I'm going to put it back in. Let me see if it says boot. There it is. Good. So let's uh, eject that. So that is my new card right here. Remember I was using the other card reader? 
So this is the uh, the new card, and the old card is right here. So don't lose that. Leave that there, and I want to reinstall the new card in the non. Here are both of my micro SD cards. The one on the left is the uh, the old one, the original. It's labeled NA, and the new one it's the uh, on the right. So I'm going to take the old one. We're going to uh, save that, and I'll show you how I do that. And let's put the uh, the new one in. And with the the old original micro SD card, I'm going to protect it. I'm going to put it in the adapter and put it in a protective sleeve like this. Seal it. I'm going to put it in the envelope. I labeled it and I'm going to tape it on the inside, the top case of the Anon. Or you know what? Um, yeah, since I already wrote on here, I'm just going to use it. Or you can take electrical tape and tape it and then put it on the top case. There. I have it sealed on the top case so it's easy to find when I need to uh, reflash a, uh, a new card. So now it's time to put this bad boy back together. Okay, let's turn on the Anon. You have to wait a, a few seconds to maybe less than a minute so that um, it can connect to my network. And uh, let's start the uh, Thetis program. I'm just going to log on to my router. I'm going to see if I do see it. I see the Anon G2 is online and power it on. I have, here comes the audio. Uh, glad to meet you all this morning and I hope, well, actually it's the afternoon for you on all 20 now. meters. So uh, glad you it gave me a call. It looks like it's one more round working. For you and then I'm gonna have to go. Uh, That's sweet. Uh, WB8 RKL, this is. Let me tune up. Oh, let's change band. Yeah, it's working. I have access to my amplifier. I was able to switch bands like that. I have control from my MIDI controller. The Anon seems to be working. Sweet. It's working. So I managed to use the program Belena Etcher to clone my original micro SD card from the Anon. And now I'm using that clone micro SD card as my primary booting micro SD for the Anon. So then in future events, if that were to get corrupted, I still have the original micro SD to make another backup. Hey guys, I hope you liked my video and if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know how you like my videos or how I can improve it for future videos. My name is Darren, my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR, so 73s and I'll see you in the next video.